a baby girl. Mm-hmm. We're gonna have a very, very special night. Really? Yeah. You know, you're my sugar, you're my honey, you are. Ah, oh, you are like. <laughs> Come on. So, just, um. Give me something. Okay. Hurry up. <laughs> Oh, baby, oh, baby. No, baby, no, 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 no. Don't do that. No, please. Oh, no, you know, I don't like all that, right? Babe, come on. It's a turn on. Just box for me, babe. No. Baby, come on. What am I going to do with this? You're my wife. Come on, trust me. Oh, baby, just stop it now. Stop it. It's a turn on. What are you doing? You're turning the whole vibe off. Babe, come on. Let's just. just Baby. I just don't want that. I'm serious. Baby, Stop I it. I like it. I like it. I like to see you on camera. I like to see you hot. I like to see you sexy. You're beautiful. Why are you denying me that? Every time I just want to get in the mood and you just keep killing the vibe. What's your problem? I don't understand. Like I'm going to take these photos and do what with them. Upload them on the internet. Don't you trust me? Come on. It's not even about it's that. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you. 
Let me have a taste first. Taste it? Tell me what you think. Mmm. Okay. I love it. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> this is great. Let's eat. Yeah. Mmm. With all this rain every day, one can even hardly plan their day. Tell me about it. I know the traffic has been crazy, huh? Yeah? But it has tripled now. <laughs> oh, and the network. <laughs> Do you know we almost lost an investor all because of this bad network issue? The roads. The roads are so, so bad. I don't want to tell you about the miracle run I did today. And that was after having a very hectic day at the office. It was crazy. All I want to do right now is just eat and just sleep. I'm tired. Baby, are we still on for tonight? It's Friday. Mm -hmm. I'm moving night. No, babe. Not tonight. Okay? Not tonight. All I want to do is to eat, sleep, and you know, that's it. Not tonight. You even lost my appetite. Why do you have to talk about it? You know, I don't like... Hey, baby. Hey. Hey, what is it now? What is it? What's wrong with you? Huh? What do you want? Baby. You've been neglecting me for months now. What's going on? Look, I don't have strength this morning. Alright? Look, Josh. I'm your wife. I mean, it's your responsibility to to always satisfy me. And whose responsibility it is to, to satisfy me? What are you saying to me, Josh? Look, what I'm saying is that I do not have strength this morning. All you know how to do is to take, take, take. And it makes you want to not do anything to satisfy people too. Thank you. 
How are you? Yeah. Um, about last night, I really do have to apologize. I'm so sorry. You really do not have to apologize, okay? I was just worried, that's all. It's nothing. It, it was all my idea. Um, we, we ran into some old friends and I just really wanted to... Do you have to always make excuses for Josh? No, 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 I'm not trying to make excuses. It's the truth. Josh really wanted to leave and I insisted on staying. Sis? You're back early. Are you here because of what we discussed? I'm here to make dinner for my husband. Oh, can I help? I got this. What? Nothing. I just can't help but notice how beautiful your skin is. You know, you have to tell me your skin care. <sighs> Thank you. I'm actually done taking your bullshit. You don't touch me. You, you don't even smile back at me. What did I ever do to, to deserve this treatment from you, Josh? It's what you don't do. 
What do you think? We're in the days of Moses where manna falls from the sky and all you have to do is pick it and eat. That's what you think. What are you on about? Your laziness. You are so lazy. All you know how to do is to lie down like a log of wood and expect him to come and perform the magic. Work things out for you. Yeah, baby girl. That's what you expect. You think a man will leave his office after working the whole day. Come home and then climb to work. Ask your friends what they do to keep their men. <laughs> is that what she does to you? Who? Your mistress. You're crazy. I'm not crazy, Josh. Where are you off to? I'm going to sleep in my sister's room. Josh! Josh! Feels good, man. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> oh, really? Hello. Ah, yeah, and uh, yeah. What happened to you? you? You didn't show up. I was expecting to see you. Even my sister. Yeah, but... Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, I, uh, uh, I will try to, um, you know, come pick you up tomorrow. Yeah. He picked up, I was hoping to see you guys at the airport, you know? You, my sister, nobody showed up. No, he's alright. He's alright. No, I'm home. So I'm good, you know? Hey, can't wait to see you. <laughs> Oh yeah, um, uh, it's all right. I'll talk to you. Man. Let me just, uh, you know, try and get your stuff done and freshen up a little bit. Okay, so let's make a toast to the safe arrival of uh, my brother-in-law, my friend. That's some time. <laughs> yeah, Reggie, Reggie. I call him Reggie Miller. You know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Well, um, I guess it's time to let the guys to a little catch up. Oh, yeah, okay, come, so here, come, come here. here. Uh, come on, come. Don't worry, we'll get you guys something. I'm hungry. I'm okay. very <laughs> sure. I'm drinking wine, so. So now the man. Yes. <laughs> Let's talk some uh, business, right? Man. You know what? Judith called me telling me that you were coming back. I was excited, you know. I decided to cut off my schedule and come right away to see you back. Make sure you are settled very well. <laughs> Thanks. I'm really appreciate it. So uh, why are you back? Is it like um just vacation or business? What's the plan? Oh um actually um the idea is for me to um, you know come over and um, you know explore the, the prospect of uh, real estate uh, market in Nigeria. Mm. Mm. You know, um, see how viable it is for me and then my partners can step in. Wow. So yeah. that means you ain't too real estate already. <laughs> well, you might say, but uh, I will tell you what, I and my partners are looking at something really big in Africa. You know, real estate business is one of the best around the world. It's right. lucrative yeah. any part of the world. It depends on how well you understand the business, how well you understand your terrain. So yeah. congratulations and welcome back to yeah. my brother. Welcome back again, my brother. Reggie Miller! <laughs> Yo, brother! <laughs> I can't believe this. Listen, I'm sick as well. I mean, I'm as tired as you are in this hotel. But listen, I've been warning you. I've talked, to, I've talked about this like a billion times. But you don't believe me. Listen, this guy is not the kind of man you should be married to. 
trust me, he's not. Okay, now, I'll tell you one thing. I think it's high time you start thinking. Wake up, Judy. Wake up. Think. This can't be going on for far too long. Well, listen, I will just tell you one thing, man. I mean, think. And maybe you just try to help yourself and, uh, you know, walk out of the marriage. I'm not saying you should, but it's just an advice. I mean, I'm your brother. That's the best I can do. You know, I can't be here watching you, you know, do this with this guy all the time. It's not what I should be watching. No, really. But hey, I'm going to pick up the girl, man. <laughs> No, don't worry. I'll tell you what's going to happen or what's going on there. I'll give you an update. <laughs> yes, sis. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're right. You know, I could do that, but... Uh... Okay. <laughs>
Embarrassing me in front of everyone. Huh? Church, you're not seeing anything. I thought we talked about this. Really? Yeah, really. Why don't you go back to your brother and do whatever the two of you were doing when you came in? I beg your pardon. Oh, you think I didn't see you guys? I saw you when you came in. So just go and continue whatever you were doing. Don't tell me you now have a problem with me hanging out my brother. Oh no, my dear. I don't have a problem with you and your brother. It's your brother I have a problem with. I think he's overstayed his welcome in this house. Meaning? I don't have to spell it out for you, do I? Of course you have to. I mean, what do I tell him? That's your problem. Listen, Josh. I'm just done allowing you bully me like every other day okay i don't know what's going on in your mind you i, I feel, at this point i feel like i'm married to some stranger josh like you, you're not the same man i married so many years ago i'm your wife you know what i told you i'm very busy you can see i'm working so if you don't mind just give me some time, give me a chance, let me do my work. I told you to go out and have fun. Continue having fun. This is what I get now? Huh? Baby, 
Like a soldier would you ride from mm, 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 mm. You sing so well, Carmen. Oh, oh, thank you. You are. So tell me, have you ever considered, you know, becoming a musician sometime? Uh, no. <laughs> Why not? I mean, you've got all it takes. You've got the courage. You've got the um, the voice. Um, everything. So why don't you do that? Oh, you don't look so bad yourself. Oh, really? Well, I can't even sing to save life. <laughs> well, I think you should have some other skill then. Hmm. Okay, so how about you and I? You know, sometimes just uh, hang out on a lunch. Maybe you can help me probably discover my talents, huh? Mm, mm -mm. Wait, wait, what? I tell you what. Okay. Um, how about I make lunch when they're not around and oh, then, wow. yeah, we can talk about anything you want to talk about. Really? Yes. Okay. <sighs> I guess I got a deal then. Deal. Okay. Gotcha. Alright, so I'll continue my performance for my no audience stage. Woohoo! Are you feeling it? Woohoo! Oh my god, that's <laughs> Uh, the food? Nah, I mean, the whole arrangement, the idea. Oh, yes, I guess it's time, you know, for us to find your hidden talents. Mm. So, apart from the obvious, okay. what else do you like to do? My gosh, Colin, you are the sexiest thing I've ever set my eyes on. Uh, okay, continue. I can take it. No, I'm serious right now. You know, I can actually look at you all day and still don't get enough. Are we still talking about me here? Yeah. Um. You see? Don't you think you're being too forward? I can't. Oh, come on, call it. Come on, I need this so much. It's again. never this. going to happen. I want this. I have some. Some what now? Never mind. Let Maybe. me get something for us to eat, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me.
It's okay, I'll be there. Alright. Yeah, I'm not on way out, I'll be there soon. Okay, bye. Hello, bro. Hello. Who's this? Listen, your wife's in the hospital. What? Don't you have my line again? It's raging around. Okay, now listen. I don't want to do this, okay? Your wife is in the hospital. I rushed out to the hospital this morning when I came back, saw her on the floor. She was lying down. I don't know if she fainted or something. No, she's been taking care of her doctor, so probably she's going to get feel better. Reggie, Reggie, are you mad? So you took my wife to hospital without calling me first? Didn't your brain tell you that we just don't patronize any hospital? Shut, shut up, man. What is wrong with you, Josh? It's my sister you're talking about. Look, if anything happens to my wife, Reggie, if anything happens to my wife, you, you, what is wrong with you? To hell. Jesus Christ. Listen, okay, just, just, just listen. I just called to inform you she's in the hospital. She's your wife and my sister here. The least you would have done is just go in there and see how she's doing. See what the condition is like. Instead of just standing right there and giving me the, giving me the good old bull crap. Flipping on your egocentric self. What is wrong with you, man? Okay. You'll be in trouble. Stupid bastard. Hello? Hello? Josh? Oh, man. What is wrong with this guy? Taking my wife to the hospital, you have my number, you will not call me first. Seriously? Josh, you're sitting down here. What is wrong with you, Josh? I called you since morning. I told your wife was taking to the hospital since she's lying there and you're here drinking, having fun. What is wrong with you? Who does this, man? Reggie, what? I do not patronize such hospital. If you want me to see your sister, take her to a more appropriate hospital. You should have known better. I, I, are you actually saying this? I can't believe this, man. I can't believe you, Josh. You say this to my face, my sister is sick, and you hear saying bullshit. You say rubbish. Watch your mouth. Then you watch your mouth, man. Look, you're, you're talking about my sister, man. What is wrong with you, man? You know what? If you keep what is your problem? Ask to leave my house. Really? Is he being so useless since you came back? I don't know what you even do in this country. Are you doing this right now? Yes. Do you think you can intimidate me? I 
can't intimidate you because I'm better than you. You are in my house, so you shut up or you leave my house. Really? Since you've been here, what have you been contributing? Oh, how about you shut up? What have you been contributing? Nothing! Nothing! Listen! Dude, you just leave my house. Come on. I'm talking about you back here to do what kind of business? You don't even know how to do business. Get your ass in business. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's more like a four one nine boy. He's saying he's going to be a seat. You want to make money count to a booty shirt? Ignore him. Okay. Let's have fun. I, I've said this before. Reggie. I don't, I don't want you to keep having issues with Josh. No matter his attitude, I beg you, please, just, just overlook it and... <sighs> Listen, Joey. It's sad to say this. Really, really sad to say this. Were you actually blindfolded? Or lured into this marriage in the first place? You don't even know the kind of man you're married to. Oh, boy. Reggie. Yeah? No, tell me what I'm saying is not true. Just tell me. Reggie, listen to me. Okay, I'm listening. Okay, fine, fine. Maybe I didn't look well the first time, but... Oh. But isn't that my problems anyway? Well, it's mine as well. What is wrong with you? No, tell me what is wrong with you. You're my kid's sister. I should be looking out for you. I've seen everything going on right here. I've been here for a while now. I'm no longer in the States. You don't call me on phone anymore. So I'm right here looking at you, looking at him. I see everything going on. You don't have to worry no more. Because I'm here. I wouldn't let nobody do it with my sister. I know. I, I know how much you care about me, Reggie, but please. I need some peaceful atmosphere around here. I just don't like the way you guys fight all the time. Now I remember what the doctor told you about me, don't you? Oh, yeah, well, I remember. I then remember that. But you know what? If you want that peaceful atmosphere in this house, tell your husband to behave right. I won't stay right here and watch someone do away with you. I don't care who it is. If he wants this to go out of this house when I'm sitting here in this house, tell him to act right. I hope you get that. Just kill him. <laughs> Now, listen to me, Judy. I'm done with this whole thing. Do you understand? I'm done with you not understanding the fact that this is not the right man for you. And I'm done with you, your husband, and everyone else in this house. This house is crazy. Everyone else here is crazy. So I have to leave. But I have one question to ask you. Or you have to answer me real fast. Now tell me. Look at me, Judy. Tell me. Are you still in this marriage? Are you? Talk to me. I can't work out on my marriage just like that, Reggie. Marriage? You call this hell? Marriage? Really? It's my vow. Come oh, on. Goodness. Just please. What vow are you talking about? What stupid vow? You have a vow with a man who doesn't even care about you. Who doesn't value you. Reggie! Just stop. Oh, please man. stop! Someone will get hurt here. You know what? Then I'm leaving. No, you're not leaving. I'm gonna leave. You're not. I am leaving. You're not leaving, Reggie. You know what? I can do this with you. Oh, God. You wanna live like this your entire life? Stay with your man, I'm out. Just get in your head. Jesus Christ. Reggie, please. Please. Reggie, please stop! Don't talk to me anymore. I'm tired of this whole bullshit. I've been here with you for a long time. Nothing is going on well here. Okay. If 
even if you have to leave, at least wait till tomorrow. Me? Wait till tomorrow? You actually want me to sleep in this house till tomorrow? Really? <sighs> Gotta be kidding me. Not on this map, though. But you said your contract is not ended yet. Really? You think it's about the contract? It's about you, Judy. It's about you. It's about your well-being. It's about everything that goes on in this house that you don't see. Okay, prove it. Prove it one more time by staying to tomorrow. <sighs> Maybe I'll make you understand better, Judy. I can't possibly be sleeping in this house and then, you know, sneaking around the house, hiding in one room. Till tomorrow, all day. I can't do that. I'm a grown man. Jesus Christ, can't you think? You're not hiding from anyone. Really? And don't let Colette's silly act get to you. You call that silly act? That shit was crazy. That lady's mad raving crazy. You know what? If you will not understand the fact that things are not going well around you, you're not seeing things on the right picture. I tell you what, you let me want a choice. I'm gonna leave. Maybe you have to understand that too. Oh really? You're gonna do that now? Okay, okay. Okay, Judith, I'm sorry. But come on, Judith. Look at me. I'm your brother. Have you forgotten? I know you better and you know me as much. You know what I can do. But look around you. I want you to think. I just want you to think. Okay. If this is going to make you happy, I'll do it. I'll stay. Yeah. You stay? Yeah, I'll stay. Thank you so much. I'm so happy. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now listen. Okay, now. I've got to be honest with you. I'll stay, but just for a day. I'll leave tomorrow. No, come on, don't do that now. Come, come here. Okay, listen. Let me clear it out for you. Tomorrow, I'm gonna go out there, check into a hotel, just nearby. Come on, a good hotel. I'm gonna be alright. Don't worry. Don't worry about me. I got you back, my sister. Don't forget that. Oh, hey. Come give me a hug. Give me some smile. Come on, smile. Don't take this out. Smile. Come on. I'm not seeing your face. So, sis. Yeah. What's up? What's going on? Well, Josh came back from the office. Okay. And as usual, got served by his sister. Ever since they've been cozying up, laughing out loud in our bedroom. Really? Yeah. Well, maybe that's his way of. Driving home some point, I guess. What point are you talking about? What point, Judy? Talk to me. Just some precondition you gave me yesterday. What? What condition? He said until you leave, uh -huh. he will never enter our bedroom. So, they saw things that were going on in this house, I didn't tell. Them. Why is that? Why, Judy? I stay right here with you. Talk to me. I mean, because I... Hey, it's just a handgun. Listen, I understand. You probably think I can handle this the right way. Reggie. Not what? Please don't take this to heart. Oh my goodness. Don't even think about what it too much. You? Okay? Okay. 
He's probably gonna sleep right there in the system. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. Man. Man, man. God. Do something with this guy. somewhere yes where are you going to um really wants to take me to his new site i'll be there all three of today i'll see you when i get back okay huh? see you as soon as i get back Hey, hey. You ready? Are you ready? And you don't feel that ready. Don't get it, clients have been buzzing here. Yeah, don't you worry, we have the whole house to ourselves. She's out with her brother the whole day, so we're good to go. I'm gonna get the camera, so just make sure that you set up, alright? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Just get the camera, okay. it's fine. Let me go and get the camera. Alright. You two to the station? I have some questions to ask. Listen, I knew it. I knew something just wasn't right about these two people. And I keep telling you, but you wouldn't listen. Have you seen this? Have you seen what's going on? I'm your brother. 
Next time when I talk to you, you listen to me. Josh, why? Why, Josh? Please now. I mean, you see, it, it, it hasn't gotten to this point now. You have to call somebody who called. So you wanted to kill me just, now? Just hang on. I'm surprised. Just say asking why. Really? You say asking why after all this? Isn't it obvious for one who saw on the phone? That these two criminals, for over the years, has been dealing secretly with the Arab people. The Arab clients, the sheikhs, pay them heavily. They pay them a lot of money to acquire these things. To acquire nude pictures and pornography. What is wrong with you? Right. Think! I wasn't even asking you. Oh yeah, tell me that again. Do I care if you ask me or not? Now listen. Listen, sis. You've been living in fool's paradise. Wake up! Wake the hell up! Jesus Christ! What am I gonna How can you do this to me, George? I'm not saying this. Don't do this to him, that it's not true. How can you do this to me, George? Calm down. 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 Calm I started sleeping with my sister, Colette, since we were teenagers. It was a secret between the both of us and nobody knew about it. You mean your parents were not even aware of this? Our parents were very overprotective and possessive of us. They never let us mingle with other children. And oh, he was a great parent and he worked for a while to discover each other's body and got to experiment. Not even our parents. I mean, even before they died, we managed to keep our secret very well. I mean, until now. But you know, Josh is married. A sham of a marriage. Please. Why don't we let him get married to avoid suspicion? He never loved his wife. His true love and devotion remained with me. So, how did you get into this business? After a couple of years of having fun, we stumbled upon a site online that had rich perverts the arabs who were willing to pay lots of money for our videos especially videos of colette and other girls having dirty fun i must confess you guys are so deep into this so deep I still don't understand how this is any of your business. Really? Well, in that case, we'll see about this. I want to see my brother! I just want Judith to know that I'm sorry for getting all mixed up in all of this. You're sorry? Yeah. The law will take its full course on you. Well, you look sharper, so 
police officer. I see the watch you're wearing. This business has a lot of money, and you're good looking. You could make a lot of money doing this business. You rock, don't you? We'll see about that. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> 